Christmas sisters again it's me Emily just wanted to show you what I'll be demoing today this is gonna be a very hot commodity at the show this weekend and next weekend we're doing scrap fest um, in Oshawa and then we're doing the creative festival downtown Toronto so this is just one of the demos of this line one product of this line uh, called Viva Decor it's from Germany. Actually, when I was in the UK this summer demoing for the Craft Barn, which is a wonderful store, you should check it out, um, they introduced me to this product and I became the first one to distribute it in Canada. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm going to show you first. These are the only samples that I have in stock. The rest hopefully will come before the show. Um, we have new little vials that come in a sampler. This covers 15 square inches of um, surface. And then we have another size called the um, called the another size 50 gram size and it comes in a hundred gram size I did carry and sold out of the hundred gram size I think I'm going to start carrying the 50 gram because I think it's a perfect quantity of paste that you're going to need and by no means am I a professional with this product I'll show you what I do with it I'm sure on YouTube you'll find other uses tons of other uses for it um, but let me just show you what I can do with it. I love chipboard. I use a lot of Maya Road chipboard because I love the shapes. They're very funky. Look how creamy this looks. You want to just like lick it and eat it and like apply it to your eyes or as a lip gloss, but I'm going to refrain today. Um, so here's a little chef hat and I'm going to show you how this covers it. Yes, you can use applicators. You can use a felt pad, a foam pad rather by Ink Essentials. I, again, after putting barrier cream, uh, use my fingers because I think it's the best applicating tool and I just smear the heck out of it look yummy and then I just smear oops 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 smear smear some people say smear but you really have to say smear to get the feeling of the smearage okay And a little bit goes a long way. So after you smear it, you're gonna buff it. And I should actually use, you could use a paper towel to buff it. I don't happen to have any handy. I know you're shocked because I'm usually so organized, but I just wanna show you what this is like. Can you use that product on grunge board and grunge paper as yes, well? Yes, you can. You can use it on anything. Frames, you can use it on, um, ATC trays. You can use it on paper to highlight embossing, which is one of the tricks we're going to do at the show. I can actually have Isabel. Maybe I'll have Isabel come and do a video because she's really the professional, but I just wanted to give you a little taster of this. So hold on one moment, please. Please hold. So this is what it looks like. It's perfectly saturated into the chipboard. You see absolutely no chipboard underneath, and if you touch it, it feels like a laminate. It doesn't come on your fingers. It doesn't come off the chipboard. It's done. It's set. It's done. So after that, you could leave it plain, or what I also did with it, what I like to do, is if you get a stamp, I just happen to have one. Um, this is our script stamp, which I love. I use it as a background for everything. Ink it up. This you have to use stays on ink because you need a solvent ink to stick onto the laminated surface. I don't know why I just inked up the whole background, but you know, better safe than sorry. Lay it down, press, and lift gently, and voila. You have two chef hats with script on it. So that is really the best way to use it. Chipboard to me is the best way. I'll show you this color that I used here is called Platinum. I love it. There's another color. I'm gonna do uh, Maya Road chipboard letter. The letter G kind of makes me happy because I just love the shape and it's so curvy and so cute. And I'm gonna use this color. This is another one of my favorite colors. It's called, I think it is, Old Silver. Old Gold, Old Silver. Why don't they have the name on it? I'm pretty sure this is old silver. How silly is this? That it's it like an antique ish. Yeah, it's thing. called old silver, but really in the house we call it like a champagne y color. Oh, that but is pretty. Look, it's like butter. You kind of want to like just. 
Yes. <laughs> okay. I so love that. I am in love. So I will just again apply with the best tool, the cheapest tool, your fingers. I think I put a little too much here, but you're gonna get. Oh, I love this. First of all, it feels so good smushing it around. And I should put a piece of paper underneath. Just. Oh. Is that not delish? Now I better have another kid with the name G so I can use this. Just kidding. That ain't gonna happen. And that's it. So if you're doing a layout or a card and you wanna just highlight one of the letters, uh, this is the best way to do it. Look at that. Look at that. And it's done. Will not come off. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. This is it. It's done. I hope Isabel doesn't kill me, but I just want to show you a couple of her projects. Of course, I'm going to tell her that she's famous and she's on it. Um, she's going to be demoing for us Isabel Norris. You can find her blog uh, on my blog roll. She's awesome. So she did this whole, this, this frame I think was a dollar at the dollar store. It's like a little shadow box. She covered the whole frame in the Inca gold in our favorite color, the old silver, old gold, I don't know. I'll let you know. And then she did a chipboard birdie in it. And she used our stamp in there. And um, like, I mean, you can make something so cheap look like a million bucks. So that's one trick to use it with. Now, our darling and amazing Isabel also made this little Seven Gypsies ATC tray using Inca gold in little spots. So she used it to cover this birdie in the chipboard again. She used it on this button, chipboard button, as the head of a flower. Um, she used it also while embossing. She highlighted certain portions of the embossing to add texture and life to the project. So you'll see here just a little bit of Inca gold to bring out the beauty of the embossing folder here too. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really stunning. Uh, where else did she? I think that's all. That's where she used it. There are a kajillion techniques here that I want to have her do if she has the guts because no guts, no glory. So if she has the guts to do um, a video, which I'm going to force her to do, uh, then we'll have her do a full demo because that's what she did in the UK. She demoed the whole line of Inca Gold because you will freak out. This background was done with um, Viva Decor Paper Soft with Pouncers. We're doing that all at the show. It's such an awesome technique. It does amazing backgrounds. You'll really, really, really enjoy it. So, um, I will try to force her and blackmail her and bribe her to do a video. All right? Again, cheers. We'll see you soon.